everyone. My name is Lacey, and you are joining me for a short and sweet prenatal yoga practice for nausea and heartburn. So grab some ginger tea and let's get started. So you can be practicing this at any time during your pregnancy. All three trimesters are fine. I'm currently 38 weeks, so very close to the end. Nausea you might be experiencing at the beginning of your pregnancy with morning sickness. You might also experience it closer to the end as you get closer to your due date. Heartburn, you might be experiencing that through all three trimesters, but especially towards the second trimester onward when things start to get a little more cramped up in the belly. So wherever you are in your pregnancy, that is fine. So we will be moving slowly today and we will be incorporating a few restorative shapes. Things that tend to aggravate nausea and heartburn in some bodies include moving quickly and moving the head from below the heart to above the heart very quickly. So we won't be doing those things. We'll be keeping the head pretty much in one stable position. But if anything that I do say does not work for your body, does not resonate, please feel free to do things differently please feel free to move at your own pace. So to begin, come into an upright seat, maybe taking a cushion, maybe taking a block, a pillow underneath you, lengthen up through your spine, and then connect your hands down onto your belly, one onto the other. Close your eyes and let your breath start to settle. Breathe down into your hands. Feeling the soft, steady movement of each inhale and of each exhale. And you can either stay with your hands still if that feels best in your body, or if you like a gentle massage of the belly, you could take a few circles of one hand, doesn't matter whether it's your right or your left, but just move the hand around in a clockwise motion. So taking the same direction as your digestion. Keep your eyes closed or your gaze soft as you start to breathe, as you continue to breathe down into your belly. Let your limbs become a little heavier. Let your sits bones become a little heavier, grounding you in place. And let your body become soft. Good, and then blink your eyes open. We'll take a mudra with our hands. We'll take the right thumb to touch the first two fingers of the hands, index finger, and the middle finger. And then we'll take the left hand, we'll touch the thumb into the index and the ring finger. You can rest this shape down onto your lap and then close your eyes once again. And continue with that belly breath. Without the hands there this time, just having the memory of where that breath was moving in your body. So this gesture is called Pushan Mudra. Pushan is said to be the god of digestion, of nourishment. So, one hand is said to represent the movement of flow in the body. The second hand is said to represent the movement of letting go. So it doesn't matter what you feel with your hands in this shape. It doesn't matter whether putting your hands into this position actually relieves the nausea, the heartburn or not, but can you have the intention of doing so? So can you, in your mind's eye, Tell your body to become still, to become clear, and to become nourished by the food that you're taking in. You can imagine sending that nourishment all the way down to a baby. And although you're not eating in this moment, you can imagine that it is your breath in this moment that is nourishing your baby. Maybe imagining breathing light all the way down into your belly. 
and exhaling stagnant energy. And breathing light and filling baby with nourishment. And exhaling the things that don't need to be held on to any longer. And then as you are breathing, you can imagine your body becoming more clear, feeling a sense of clarity. You can imagine a sense of lightness in the mind, but a continued sense of anchoring down of heaviness through your limbs, through the sits bones, through the legs. Imagine your body feeling better in this moment. You can let your hands go from this position. Ground your palms now down onto your thighs. A gesture of grounding yourself where you are, of rooting yourself in place. Keep your hands grounded down. Then take an inhale into a gentle cow-like spine. So shoulder blades draw in, collarbones widen. And your gaze could lift up just slightly if that feels okay for the neck. Then as you exhale, you can tuck your chin into your chest. Round your way just softly over your baby. Inhale into a cow-like spine, shoulder blades draw in, heart lifts. And then exhale to round yourself back. And then just start to take these two movements very slowly with your own breath. If adding the head in creates any more nausea or any more heartburn than you're already experiencing, then you can feel free to leave the head out and instead just move the spine forward and back slowly with your breath. So again, let yourself be your teacher. Let yourself be your guide here. Listen to your body. Good, start to come back into center, moving back into a neutral spine. Reach both arms up towards the ceiling, breathing in. And then with an exhalation, take a side bend over towards the left. Crawl your left fingertips out. Reach your right arm overhead, taking this gentle, so moving slowly, moving with ease. Maybe you gaze underneath your right armpit. Breathe into the side of your belly. And then as you next inhale, come back through center, reaching, reaching, reaching up through the fingertips. As you exhale, side bend your way over to the right side. Lengthen out through the left arm. Lengthen out through the left side of the belly. And keep breathing down to where baby is. Good, come back through center, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Take your hands now to catch the back of your head, widen through your elbows, lengthen up through the crown of your head, and maybe get a sense of the ribs lifting out of the belly. So you're creating all of this space down the belly, down the digestive system. Good, breathe in. And as you exhale, let your arms go. Take your hands to clasp onto opposite elbows behind your back. So one hand to one elbow, one hand to the other. And then with that shape in your hands, draw your shoulder blades in, wind across your collarbones, lift up through the crown of your head. Good, let that go. Reach your arms back overhead. And then take your hands to clasp behind the back of your head. This time switch so the opposite pinky finger comes on top. Widen your elbows apart lift through your sternum. Again, feel a sense of the ribs lifting, lifting, lifting out of the belly so that you have all of this space for digestion. Okay, breathe in here. As you exhale, let your arms go. Take your hands behind your back, clasp onto opposite elbows, and then change the grip so the opposite one comes on top. Draw your shoulder blades and lift your ribs out of the belly, widen across the heart. Breathe in. And then as you exhale, let that go. From here, we'll come into a supported child's pose. So for supported child's pose, 
the version that I will be showing today. I'll be showing a blanket rolled up in between the hips and heels. That's for support for the knees. So if your knees are feeling achy, you might want to have a blanket. You might want to have a few pillows in between hips and heels. You might also take a blanket underneath your knees. I'll be showing a bolster stacked onto blocks, one at the highest height, one at the medium height. If you don't have that set up, you can take a few pillows underneath you. You want to back yourself up so that you have space for your belly so you're not pressing the bolster into your belly. And you want your knees wide enough so that again the belly has some breathing room. Walk your hands down and then rest one cheek down to the side. And then really do take the time here to make sure your body is fully at ease, fully supported, fully comfortable. We'll be taking this as a restorative shape. So we'll be here for some amount of time. So just make sure that you're in a shape that feels like your body can fully relax, fully release. If you are taking this version with the two blocks underneath the bolster, you can thread your arms in between the blocks so that you have something to hug onto. With that bolster hugging into your chest, it allows the body to start to soften. It invites the body into a space of comfort. And you might give your hips a gentle shift from side to side just to settle your hips a little firmly, a little more firmly down onto the heels. You can let your eyelids become heavier and let your body be supported. Take your breath down into the back of your belly, the back of the digestive system. And again, imagine that breath nourishing each cell in your body. Nourishing your baby as well. And you just let yourself breathe here. And we'll be here in this supported child's pose for a few more minutes in this restorative shape. If you need to come out early, you can. If there's ever any pain, any intensity, any sharpness, any tingling, anything that baby's telling you as well. Those are all good signs to shift. But if you feel supported here, if you feel okay to be here, you let yourself become even softer. And I'll be quiet for a minute, but I will tell you at the point when we're at halfway in this shape so that you can change your cheek to the opposite side. Otherwise, from where you are, just breathe down to belly, down to your baby. And we're just about halfway, so you can move your cheek the opposite side, settling the opposite cheek down to the bolster. Just make sure that your body is fully at ease. Maybe making any little shifts that you need to feel grounded, to feel supported. And let yourself become a little bit heavier here. A little bit more held by the props. as you continue to invite groundedness and as well as clarity. As you continue to invite your body to feel better in this moment.
jumping, slowly moving with ease. Begin to walk yourself back upright. So using your hands rather than core strength. You can deconstruct your props. Set all of your props aside for a moment. And then crawl out into hands and knees, making your way into tabletop. Ground your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees, underneath hips, if not, maybe a little wider. And then if stillness is what your body needs, give it a moment of stillness, a moment to settle with that transition, with that shift. Otherwise, if you'd like a few rounds of cat and cow, move very slowly. Move with ease, drawing the shoulder blades in and lifting up through your sternum and then rounding through your spine, feeling baby hug up and in. Shoulder blades can draw in, tailbone can lift just a touch, and then you can round through your spine, maybe just taking a few more rounds on your own, shallow cats and cows. Good. Come back into a neutral spine. This next shape, we won't, we will not be there as long as we were in that child's pose. We'll be coming into a supported backbend using the bolster underneath our pelvis. So we'll be coming into a version of cobra pose. Typically, cobra is practiced down on the belly, but because we don't want to compress what is happening in this space, will instead be off of our bellies to get a gentle back bend, a gentle stretch of the front part of the belly, of the space around the digestive system. So to come into this, you'll take a bolster down underneath your pelvis. You can take two blocks up to the top of your mat for support. And then you want your bolster to be more or less just behind the pubic bone. So the pubic bone is kind of on the bolster, but it's kind of midway there. You can adjust based on feedback from your body where exactly you place this bolster, but more or less you want the pubic bone to be grounded just about towards the front center of the bolster. Your hands can be on blocks or if you find that you don't need the blocks, you don't have to take them. Your feet can be a little wider than hips width apart, but use feedback from your body again. Find your way into a shape that feels okay in your body. And you just want to make sure that you're not compressing any part about the abdomen. So if that bolster feels like it's pressing up into the abdomen, then just scoot forward a touch, maybe tucking your toes under and lifting up a touch. You can feel maybe a stretch to the front part of your belly maybe a lift of the heart, maybe a sense of the shoulder blades hugging inwards. Let your sternum feel like it's coming a little higher. Again, just as I cued at the beginning of practice, a sense of the ribs drawing out of the belly. So you're making space to digest. Bring your head into whatever position feels best. Maybe that is with your gaze straight forward. Maybe it's lifted upward slightly, or maybe it's chin into chest. If that feels like it increases any sense of nausea or heartburn, don't do that. Just let your body become your guide. And see if you can breathe down into your belly here. You want your arms to be engaged, but the back body to be soft, front body to be soft. All of the places that are not used as support, so everything besides the arms, to become soft. Take out four breaths into your belly. Good. And then to move out of this, keep grounding your palms down onto the blocks and just gently shift your hips away from the bolster, coming into a tabletop here. You can keep the blocks underneath your hands for a moment. 
You could take another round or two of a shallow cat and cow. Or whatever your body is intuitively telling you that it needs in this moment. using your body as your guide, maybe already thanking it for all of the amazing things that it already does, creating life. This next shape we'll take is legs up the wall. If you feel like an inversion just would not feel right for you in this moment, you can instead come into a seated meditation being upright. I will be cueing us through a hand massage and legs up the wall. So you can still do that even if you're not taking the inversion. But if you are moving into legs up the wall, move very slowly. Have your blanket within reaching distance. And then make your way to a wall. You'll ground your hips up close to the wall as you come into your legs up the wall. You can lower down onto your left side first using your arms to help you. And then you'll extend your legs upwards. Now again, if you're a little bit later into your pregnancy and if it doesn't feel stable to rest directly onto your back, you don't have to be in this shape. Or again, if this shape feels like it increases any amount of nausea, any amount of heartburn, then always come out at any moment that you need to. Maybe just rolling off to the left side when and if you need. If you feel grounded here with the legs fully extended, you might then take a blanket over the belly, maybe bring you a little bit of weight, a little bit of heat. Over the, di over the digestive system. And take your hands to clasp into one another. And with your hands clasping, just give them a few squeezes as if you're shaking your own hand. Good, then we'll start with a massage of one hand. Doesn't matter which one you take first, but take the thumb into anywhere in the palm of the hand that feels a little tender, that feels a little tight. So maybe taking it into the base of each finger into the space around the knuckle pad. Your back fingers can be around the top of your hand. And you can lengthen out each of your fingers, drawing them upward, creating space. Switch to the second hand, taking your right thumb, or taking your second hand rather, taking the thumb into the palm of the hands, into the base of each finger, the knuckle pad, Anywhere that feels a little tense, you can pause an extra breath or two. And then lengthening out each finger, drawing the fingers towards the ceiling. Good, now take your wrist, doesn't matter which one you take again, we'll do both. And start to invite a gentle massage into the wrist. So you can imagine that you have bracelets around your wrists maybe you actually do, and imagine that you're wringing those bracelets down the forearm. Good, then do that with the second wrist. So taking your wrists, just wringing it down the forearm as if you're squeezing bracelets around. And we'll go to a specific acupressure point here. We'll take three fingers and take it right underneath the wrist, right to the center. And then wherever that third finger is, keep it there. Transfer your thumb to that spot. And you can hold there with the thumb just in between the two tendons of your wrist. Just applying as much pressure as feels good in your body, as feels necessary. This is said to be an acupressure point that helps with both nausea and heartburn. It's said to help with digestion. Just notice what you feel in your body. If it feels good, stay there. If it doesn't, then don't. You, know, you can always come back to this point if you need. 
and then switch to the second side. So three fingers width just below the wrist. Keep your third finger where it landed, transfer your thumb to that spot, and see if you can find the space in between your two tendons, in between two tendons in the forearm, in the wrist, and just gently draw the thumb down into that space. If it feels like this spot is doing something for you, great. You might, you might consider taking bracelets over your wrist in this spot. And that might help with any of the nausea, any of the heartburn, any of the digestive issues that come up with pregnancy. Good, and then let that spot go. And just give your hands a gentle shake out. Take your hands behind the backs of your knees and softly bend them, setting the soles of the feet down to the wall. And then we'll roll up onto our left side to make our way into our final shape. As you're lifting up to an upright position, move slowly so you can pause a moment or two on your left, just allowing blood pressure to equalize, allowing everything to settle. Before using the strength of your arms to make your way upright. And the final shape that we'll take in today's practice is a restorative one. It'll be a reclined bound angle. So you'll want your bolster and your blocks in a similar orientation to how they were before in that supported child's pose. I'm showing one block on the medium height and one block on the lowest height because this bolster that I'm working with is pretty thick, but you could also have that first block onto the highest height, second onto the medium height. And again, if you don't have bolsters, feel free to take a few blankets, pillows, something to prop your body up so that you're not lying directly down onto your back. You just want to avoid that as you get later on into the pregnancy. So create this ramp for yourself to rest onto. And then lower your left hip down. Use the strength of your arms to lower yourself all the way down first onto the left side. And then from there, you can roll your way into center so that your hips point straight up to the ceiling, shoulder blades are heavy around the edges of the bolster. Draw the soles of your feet together to touch. Take your knees out wide. And if you want something to support the backs of your knees, if you feel like this is not sustainable, feel free to grab props here. So maybe a few blocks supporting the knees, maybe a few pillows so that your body can fully soften. You might take that blanket if you enjoyed it over the belly and over the hips in the shape that we were just in. Take it once again, set it down over the hips and let yourself soften there. Now, if this shape does not feel supportive for the legs, you could always extend the legs fully forward or have the soles of the feet settle down to the mat. So anything goes here, whether that's knees bent, legs extended, or keeping the soles of the feet together. Notice what feels most sustainable in your own body. If you feel like your arms are kind of in an awkward position, you could also play with a little bit of support underneath the hands, underneath the backs of the hands. Maybe you take a block or two underneath the backs of the hands or a pillow if you feel like you need that for more support. You could also play with taking an eye pillow, a sandbag, or something weighted, maybe a rolled up blanket, a rolled up towel over the tops of your wrists. So getting into that same acupressure point that might be helpful in relieving some of that nausea and heartburn. So take a few moments to set yourself up with whatever props, with whatever support it is that you need in this moment. And then once you've arrived into this supportive shape, just let your body soften fully. And as you did before, breathe down into the belly, down into baby. And just take a few clearing breaths here. 
Breathe in, filling the belly up. And breathe out, let it go. Two more like that. Breathe in, filling the belly. And breathe out, let it go. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out. And let your body become even heavier onto the props. As you're here, imagine that you're continuing to breathe in clarity. And to breathe in groundedness as well. And to exhale anything that does not need to stay with you, whether that is nausea, whether that is heartburn or dizziness or, or just fears about pregnancy overall in general. As you breathe in, you can imagine your body feeling better. As you breathe out, you can let go. Take another moment here to acknowledge everything that your body does for you. Creating life, supporting life, and knowing that that alone is enough. Knowing that whatever is going on in your body in this moment, in your mind, in your life, what you're doing is enough. There is nothing left to do in your body. Nothing left to do in your mind. But to rest here for the next minute or so in this shape. In our Shavasana. Start to ease your way out of this shape slowly, gradually, by just inviting a little more air into the body. By gentle movements back, maybe giving your fingers and toes a wiggle. And ground your hands behind the backs of your knees to slowly guide them in. If you were taking a blanket over your hips, set it aside. Draw your two knees down to the left side and then slowly use your body to rock onto the left. Use the strength of your arms to lift yourself all the way up to seated, coming into a long, tall spine, taking as much time as you need for that transition. Once you are there with your upright spine, guide your hands to touch your body, maybe taking one to the heart, one to baby. Thank yourself one more time for showing up. Thank your body for all that it does. Bow your chin down to your chest. 
and gratitude to each of you and to the teachers within each of us. I thank you all so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.